At least Mrs. Crane said that Ethan hasn't seen Teresa yet. I mean, that's a relief. I just pray that Teresa gets out of that house before he does. You look tired, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. Why don't you go lay down and I'll wait for Teresa? Luis is working tonight. I still need to fill a thermos of soup for him first. I'll do it. Thank you, Whitney. The thermos is in the cupboard. Okay. I just hope Luis doesn't find out about what's going on with Teresa. What is Teresa up to now? All right, Whitney. What's Teresa done now? I, uh, I don't know what you mean. I heard my mother just now. Now, what is it she doesn't want me to find out? Oh, well, you know Teresa. Oh, very well. I'm her brother. If she's in trouble, I want to help her. It's nothing like that. Luis, I just don't feel like it's my place to say anything. I understand. You're Teresa's friend. All right. I'll just find out myself. Is Teresa home? No. What are you doing? Well, if she's not home, then she's at work at the cannery. She's not there. I might as well tell you, you only find out if you call the cannery. Find out what? Teresa lost her job. Teresa lost her job at the cannery? How? Maybe Teresa should tell you. You tell me! Okay, okay, well, there was an accident, but it wasn't Teresa's fault. Was she hurt? No, not that kind of accident. Well, what kind of accident? Well, was it like the accident that got her fired from the burger hut? Spilling milkshakes all over Ethan Crane's head? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Couldn't have been Ethan Crane. I mean, what would he be doing there in the middle of... The cranes on the cannery. Now tell me it wasn't him. She didn't know he'd be there, Luis. I swear. He was on some tour. I don't believe it. 